Hello everyone and welcome to Portal Stories Mel. This is a completely free mod made by the community. I believe overall the team spent about four years working on it. And yeah, if you're a fan of Portal 1 and 2 and you like puzzle solving and making your brain hurt, then I highly recommend you give this a go. A lot of people ask me what my involvement was in the project. I made the main soundtrack, uh, voiced a couple of characters, and animated all the Source Filmmaker cinematics. Let's jump straight in to Chapter 1, 1952. Uh, the opening chapter has a lot of dialogue, so I will not be talking much. So, silent mode. Engage. to show you. You're here because you're the best the world has to offer. I don't say that lightly, mind you, so take that as one of the biggest compliments you'll ever get in your life, even if you don't know who I am. In the beginning, I started a shower curtain company, making asbestos-laden shower curtains for the military, but I kept dreaming bigger and better. And you know what? That dreaming became doing, lots of doing, which brought you here. You're riding into the little Michigan town of... Uh... Wait... Where are we again? Uh... Okay, so... This town doesn't have a name yet, as we're the ones who built it, but... That doesn't matter. Point is, you're riding there, and you'll soon be... Aperture Science Innovators! We're still getting some of this stuff together, but there's a lot of science we can do in the meantime. You've been selected from a large group of candidates for a special test in our temporary testing areas. When the train arrives at the station, head into the town and into the Aperture building. Don't worry, you'll know where it is. You'll get some more pre-recorded messages once you're there. Now, get ready to do some science! For now though, we're gonna put on some nice music for you. Enjoy the ride. And yes, that was my awful Cave Johnson slash JK Simmons impression. Eh, some people liked it, some people hated it. Uh, I kind of expected that, but, you know, no one can replace J.K. Simmons, so... I think we can kind of get away with it because, you know, Cave's supposed to be quite young and unconfident at this point of Aperture's history. Alright, you're now arriving at Aperture Central Station. <clears throat> Wait. Chris, get over here. How do you spell station? Think about that for a second. Okay. Does the station have an extra O before the I? Alright, listen to me. Back your things. Because you're fired! Get out of my office. Out. Get out. Out of my office. <clears throat> uh, oh, I can't re-record this. <clears throat> so, Chris getting fired there is actually a very long-running joke. Chris is an actual member of the Portal Stories team. And, you know, like all of us, he's made a lot of mistakes, but we constantly fire him every time he does make one. Because we're evil. So if you're watching this, Chris, I just want you to know, you're fired. And this jazzy piece of music you're hearing is a great little song composed by Ian, our lead writer. It's called Time and Time Again, and it's available on the soundtrack. Tons of custom posters and art and textures and stuff by Jake, a fantastic artist. Now, as I said before, 
There's a lot we're still working on. Just watch your step on the way out. And as a reminder, Aperture Science Innovators is not responsible for any injury you sustain. Up to and including death by exposure to cosmic ray spallation. Don't worry, though. We haven't had an accident like that in three days. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Make that three minutes. Toilets. I do not want to know what happened in there. <laughs> Evil door. Sorry for going so slow, I just want to, you know, want to show some of the detail that some people miss. Here at Aperture Science Innovators, we love to give back to the community. So, instead of just giving back, we made our own community. Entirely made out of Aperture Science malleable concrete on top of the salt mines. And that's exactly why you shouldn't touch the walls or stomp your feet either. <clears throat> that's thing we need is to touch up the dents in the wall because someone was too hands on. Just want to know, I never noted those, noticed those crows before. That's a nice little touch. Huh. I've played through this so many times, I never noticed that. The moon! found it faster than uh, any test subjects on record. <clears throat> uh, that's not good. <clears throat> anyway, just head through the door on the right to the elevator. You all know where to go. There's a custom painting of Carolyn. Uh, Valve were very kind and sent us a couple of reference images that they took of uh, Laura Dubuck and... Bill Fletcher, who they used as the facial reference for Cave and Carolyn. So, Jake took those and painted some new portraits for us. Caution! Do not lean on railing! You can't tell me what to do! Oh. Um. You didn't see anything! Fifty Shades of Cave! That was another little detail we added in at the last minute. <laughs> uh, the project lead was not happy with that, but... Uh, it made a few people laugh, so... Can't be all bad. I thought it was a funny little joke. Little reference. This is art. Stare at the art. salt mines down here. Give the test subjects a great view of the place. But no! The zoning boards on my bean counter said that's why they invented elevators. So, when someone in a wheelchair threatened to sue, my former boys chicken out of me and built this elevator to go to our temporary offices. I'm still working on those stairs, and those guys are working on getting new jobs. <laughs> Seriously though, the stairs aren't ready, so get on that stupid elevator. Shut up! You can't tell me what to do, Cave! Oh god, what's the alarm for? Oh god! Okay, I'm doing it, I'm doing it! Here at Aperture, we're always trying to push the boundaries of science that little bit more. That's why we're taking on this new project. When the bean counters told me not to buy a salt mine to do all this science, the first thing they said was, No, there's too much space. You can't suspend something over nothing and pray that a test can happen in thin air. Well, thanks to some use of the old calculator between the ears and a generous helping of the you're fired stamp, I came up with a final solution to that. 
If you can't anchor something in thin air, why bother trying to make it in the air in the first place? I came up with this. Introducing the Aperture Science Innovator's Suspended Testing Sphere. Each sphere is suspended in the air, anchored to the walls by concrete and steel lattice rebar. They seem like they float in the air, but in fact, they don't. Plus, we can keep building above them, onward and upward. This salt mine here can take at least ten of these bad boys per shaft. Nine shafts, ninety tests. We can test whatever we want to, and beat that other company into the ground. Black Mason. Those guys will kiss me. <laughs> the bean counters cried like babies when they saw the cost of these things. But they wet their pants when they threw them out the door. I pay the bills, I make the decisions around here. But I hire and fire as I please. <clears throat> now, the first of these spheres won't be ready for a few more months. So, you'll be participating in one of our smaller tests. The Aperture Science Innovator's Short-Term Relaxation Vault. Uh, this piece of music was actually one of the first pieces I composed for the game and back then this map had a lot less detail and when the lead mapper heard the music he basically went back and completely remade the map so that it sort of matched the epic sound of the music so now we have this really big reveal and tons of detail to look at <laughs> so we had a little competition to see who could make the more epic music or the more epic map when you get to the offices, I'll tell you a bit more. This test should be real easy for you, though. Just get inside one of the Aperture Science Innovator's short-term relaxation vaults and lie in a bed. You'll feel yourself fall asleep quickly. Don't worry, though. Our science boys will get you out shortly. You'll only be out for a few minutes. Uh, an hour, at most, if something goes wrong. <coughs> Don't worry. We ain't got everything under control. You'll be making science, and you won't have to do a thing. Who's the winner here? You are. You are. Oh, there's a little easter egg here somewhere. I believe it's coming up. There it is. Lone Wolf 2056. That's Steven's username. I'm on to you, Steven. So... As I said on the last pre-recorded message, you'll be heading into an Aperture Science Innovator's short-term relaxation vault for a quick, deep sleep. And then you're done. That's why we brought you here at night. You're most likely a walking zombie. That'll give us the best results. But just remember, don't sleep too long. This isn't a bed and breakfast. And if you decide to stay the night, I'm charging you rent for the next year. We'll have a bed ready for you. Just follow the testing area signs and go to bed. Don't mind the turrets. They're firing blanks. At least that's what Crazy Harry told me. <clears throat> Had the six signs, boys disappeared because of him. There's another of the custom portraits. Cave. Young Cave. What a handsome devil! made by Rachel, I believe, our lead modeler. <laughs> and this little chair here. <laughs> we just like to imagine that people sit here and just stare at that magnificent painting of Cave. It's probably Cave that does it, to be honest, you know, just... That is one handsome son of a gun. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, yeah.
Don't worry, those tourists won't kill you. The safety on their guns is on. Had some lab boys shut them down. Crazy Harry lied to me. Now these old 50s mobster turrets uh, originally had voices, but we had some technical issues which prevented them from being put in the game. They basically sounded like this. <laughs> uh, not too many turrets got the gears for this kind of work. Hey, what are you doing? Put me down! No, 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 no! They basically sounded like the defective turrets, but yeah, they had a more raspy, ah, what you talking about kind of vibe. Ah, crap. Looks like I got whacked. Ah, the boss will hear about this. I will probably upload all of those to YouTube at some point, because we did actually record them all and stuff. They just couldn't be put in the game. Which sucks. Oh well, I tried. But yes, I will probably upload those very soon. So keep your eyes and ears peeled for that. It's quite a funny little recording session. Some funny lines. And here we go. Docking station. Shit's about to get real. If you're hearing this message, you're at the sleeping chamber. Carolyn, is the test ready? Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson. Then you're good to go. Step into the chamber and get into the bed. Our lab boys will take care of the rest. Okay. I'm not feeling confident about this, but if you say so, Cave. Cave? Hello? Hello? Fine. Oh my god! What happened? No. So that is chapter one. Join me again for chapter two, where we start thinking with portals.